a surf church Sunday. We're getting, I shouldn't say we're getting ready to go. I should say I'm getting ready to go. Low Tide Tim and uh, Chain Man are already in the land. I had to drop something off in Norfolk this morning. I never got back till right now. I'm making a change in footprints today. You remember my buddy Rick was in town last week from Charlotte. Well, we got talking about coals. He had the big one, the 17 inch. He hated it. He said, well, why don't we trade? I need a scoop, you need a coal. I said, okay, what are we doing? So I traded him my greatest, my finest, my best scoop ever. The 2.2 Stava with the rock point on it. So now all I got left is the V5 and the uh, M9. I'm mumbling a little bit. So I'm going to put that on right now and uh, give it a try. Everybody tells me it's super heavy, but we'll see how that goes. Now, the best of it is in this box right here. I got it from my buddy Jimmy in New Jersey. Uh, he's gonna, I'm going to send him a couple shirts tomorrow. But look in this box right here. Are you ready? Here we go. Look at that. Something. Whoa. Whoa. Somebody will be very happy. He, he hadn't seen these yet. Mr. Jack. Said hi, Mr. Jack. Here's a little something for big old Jack from your secret admirer. <laughs> Jimmy D. Thank you, Jimmy D. My buddy will love these. We're a little short on balls anyway. The grandkids threw them all down that drainage ditch. Not all of them, but I had 33. They threw about 15 of them down that drainage ditch right there, you can see. When they were here. But anyway, we'll get by. Stand by while I take this baby off. I got something I want to show you anyway. Well, things look better than I expected in the wear department. I was expecting to wear to see a lot of wear here, but I don't see much. I have had on some of these coils a lot of wear that would get really thin, but this one's holding up great. This is like three months old and like four or five days. So you're just over three months old. That looks good. I see a little teeny bit of wear right along there. You can see it. A little bit on the other side. Okay. I'm going to stick that baby on there. Stand by. I'll tell you one thing. That's a big sucker, ain't it? <laughs> I just tried it. Swinging it in the yard. Oh, it's heavy, too. I'm going to try it today without the swingy thing. See how it does. I know I ain't going to like it, but I'm going to try it like that anyway. I got one more thing I need to share with you, but I can't find it. Uh, I'll share it with you in a little bit when I find it. It's uh, pretty cool. If you like stinging nettles. Cut off. Cut off, baby. My buddy made the two-page article. Look at it. I'll take a picture of it so you can read it better. There's a reason to admire the Bay's beautiful stingers. Yeah, I admire them all right. <laughs> but there it is. Sea nettles. The whole damn book. Front page, I mean middle page. On them stinging varmints. I'm going down the road headed for the land of Nala and I get a text from Timmy and Denny. Want to know where am I going? I, I said, I thought y'all had already been down there for an hour and they're still home. I'm not texting while I'm driving though. I'm just observing a text. I want to shoot over here to Denny's and uh, since it's only three or four minutes away and have a chat, stand by. 
Doc Beaver had a pretty good spin in the last out of this morning. He went like from uh, three o'clock in the morning or twelve o'clock in the morning till three o'clock. I forget what time it was, but in the really early in the early a.m. and he went sort of in the northern territory, worked to the south. He found a fair amount of targets, uh, all kinds of targets, some junk jewelry, some change. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys follow the forums, but yesterday he, in the morning he hunted Ocean View on the bay and found some bunch of junk, but he found a set of gold fronts, you know, grills for your teeth. Well, last night he found another set of fronts or grills, but in the land of Nada. So in two spins, he's found two nice 10 karat grills. Well, you know what that means, right? We got the chain man. Now we got the grill man. Doc Beaver is grill man. He said he ought to be called Dr. Teeth. But I think grill man's better. Stand by, I'm getting close. I'm looking at the Wawa gas, 315. That ain't bad for Wawa gas. I like 315. It was it's been 311 for about um, almost three weeks. I doubt you can see it. Okay. After the race, you just go home. You know, but not this time. We're on our way. I mean, you go to bed, but we had to take a shower. It was like headed to get low tide Tim. Hello. Mermaid. I don't think we'll see many mermaids today. We need to get all weekend ahead of time. There's a homemade camper. Pretty cool. Plywood, baby. I like it. Inbound, Land Anata, Surf Church Sunday, breezy, overcast, yellow. Shut it off, baby, you turkey. Shut off. Breeze, waves. Beach is nice and wide. I'm nah, supposed to get off good today. Feeding. I see two more mermaids coming, just like the other day. With their, uh, their bikinis. mermaid. There's mermaids out today. I see Timmy talking to the unknown man. No, it's not talking to Glenn. See how he made out. Stand by. What's going on, Mr. Glenn? It's all baggy in there. I said,
turns, because I didn't. minutes with that beast. One penny in the damp sand, a nickel and a dime in the dry sand, two pieces of aluminum and a full tab. 90 minutes. That was enough for me. This is going to be the best of it. As I wait the afternoon out for the chain man and low tide temp. I'm wearing Dennis ring that he found a minute ago. Stamp 316L. I got no clue what 316L is. But it's a nice looking ring. We're waiting for low tide Tim now. I didn't know what it was. Let me see that thing. Yeah, Timmy got a cell phone. 
<laughs> She's not too old either. Well, she might be a little old. It's rusted a little bit around the Yeah. Bench. Got a fancy little pouch on the back of it for putting your money in. I never found one like that before. That's the best of it, huh? It's something like We had a bleak day today. Uh, we think that Denny's ring 316L means stainless steel now. Not like Catman do. He's stainless steel. <laughs> okay. I gotta go. Have fun, everybody. <laughs>